welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly. Today, we're going to talk about how to combine the sum if and VLOOKUP functions in Excel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see in the Excel file here, I have a list of vendor IDs, invoice numbers, and the amount for each uh, invoice. And then I have a vendor name here, Rockwell, which is the one I'm going to look up. And then I have a list of vendor names and their associated vendor IDs. So obviously we have two separate tables here. And basically how this is going to work is I'm going to look up my vendor name, Rockwell, here uh, using the VLOOKUP function, which will identify uh, vendor ID 004. And then as I identify the 004 ID, I will be able to look over in this table for all instances of 004 and then add up each of the amounts for vendor 004. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see over here, I have the syntax of the formula laid out. Uh, but as always, you can follow along as I do it here. Um, so first equals sum if. Now we want to look at our range. So uh, our range for sum if is going to be over here. And we're going to want to make sure that we anchor that. Uh, now we're going to use VLOOKUP as a criteria to determine what we're going to sum. So uh, now we're going to type in VLOOKUP. And we're using vendor name Rockweld and make sure that we anchor that. Uh, by the way, if you anchor it or use absolute cell reference, it's just pressing F4, so function 4. Uh, now we are going to get the table array, which is this table right here. And although you can't see it, because I'm getting blocked a little bit there. That is the table, function four, um, comma again. Now we're looking at the second column, which is vendor ID. So I'm going to hit two, and I'm going to put zero because I want an exact match. Now the last thing we're going to do is go over, uh, hit parentheses, comma, now go to amounts, and we have to highlight the amounts because obviously that's what we're going to end up summing up. Again, we're going to make sure that we anchor it, close parentheses, enter. So as you can see, I have the amount of 8,200 here. And if I just adjust that to make it look uh, proper, it is $8,200. And uh, if you go through and you add up individually the instances of vendor ID 004, it will eventually come out to $8,200. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.